and welcome back to Kirby Superstar with me, Matthew Caddis, in the Poogie. So, we are going next to Half Moon. Yeah, seriously, that's the name of the planet. But yeah, uh, this is Half Moon, and oh boy, do we get a shaky start. And we jump between stars, apparently. Yay. We even get the same starry background from, from earlier in the game. Anyway, that being said, there's a whole load of enemies here. And, uh, let's see, which one do I want? Uh, Jet, no. Beam, fighter. Yeah, fighter! Let's go with that. A few um, annoying scarfies who can actually turn demonic straight away. Seriously. And ninja got me there. So, indeed, yay. Okay, kick his ass. And then, um, what is with the... Okay, the... Uh, I, did, um, what should I say, was uh, Biospark always that violent? I don't know. Certainly the um, other enemies are a lot more violent here as well. So yeah, there's also a warp star down there, and we could indeed get it, but I want to explore here. Despite the wind problems here that make, um, well, no, that whole uh, level in Donkey Kong Country 2 is still... Uh, a bit tougher, I think. Um, especially if you're only playing with Didi with the uh, wind and everything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go with um, um, you, you here, seriously, because that seems to work a bit better. Yeah, I always think I'm doing that, but no, it's the ninja doing that. Seriously, it's the freaking ninja. Um, yay. Stupid Scarfy, go away. I don't want you any other day. What was that? Okay, what actually electrocuted me? Is it those blocks? Well, apparently it is! And can we actually fly up here? I don't know, it looks like we can, but we can't. Yeah, I know, very confusing. Very, very confusing, but we, we cannot apparently go up there. Anyway, let's go to the right, past uh, uh, electric blocks. Seriously, it makes me think one of those electric mice thingies is there, but... And I'm not talking about Pikachu here! Um, no. Um... Get out of the way, you. Okay, so... We can't touch the electric blocks because P um, Because Kirby gets shocked. So, yeah. So, in this room, we have the return of the minecarts. Which is really weird, um... Especially since we're going along a... Um, a starlit pathway, seriously. I believe this plays the second, um... Halber music from um, from Revenge of Meta Knight. So yeah, both of them, of course, were joined together in Smash Brothers, um, which honestly makes sense. I don't care if I die to a bush. Uh, seriously, that's the least of my worries here. Uh, so let's go through here and um, indeed knock you out. Uh, could be gonna knock you out. Uh, I don't know. Sword, I think, yeah. Because at least I can strike some of these enemies. So let's see what's over here. To... Okay, maybe not. Okay, so yeah, the enemies respawn again. I did, I didn't know that before. Uh, probably a staple of the Kirby games, to be honest. Uh, seriously. So, in fact, also I guess the Donkey Kong games. Okay, so we have a peg here. So let's see. I want. Hammer or stone? Let's see what I get. I did pass stone, but hammer's probably the better one, to be honest here, because of the the thing there. Again, we could use the uh, thing, but I'm not sure if I want to here. Okay, so that's just unleashing the enemies, which I kind of don't want to do. Okay, so now I can go down the pathway with Kirby, and the um, thing will just um, pound down the pegs. No problem there. So yeah, and there's our way out. However, I did see a star block. So I'm going the wrong way entirely. Just to get Max and Tomato, seriously. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that, apparently. Fine, fine. This stage is already weird enough with the aesthetics. So let's see, we have some mines here. And we know what they do to Kirby, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I'm not going to create a helper because, to be honest, with the AI of the helpers in Kirby Superstar, what they will do is just basically get electrocuted by the mines. 
Seriously? I know it's weird, but um, um, apparently they don't want to explode. That might be too much um, for a kid's game. Actually, the animation is of Kirby getting blown up, so maybe uh, <laughs> there is something to that, but they don't blow up. Seriously, so, um, Parasol. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, actually. Although, Kirby didn't slowly sail down this time around. I'm guessing... I'm guessing gravity! And we have some more things. We have both the Punchy Guy and Kawasaki here. Okay, well, I can easily get rid of Kawasaki. And then... Oh, wait, no, I can't get Cook off him. Yeah, that's not going to be helpful. So I'll just destroy him. Seriously. And create Model D while I, um... Get... Uh, hammer? I don't sure about hammer. Yo-yo, yes! Yo-yo. We'll use that and... And hopefully get past his punches. I don't know. I'm... I'm really out of ideas here. So, yeah. And he's destroyed. Yada, yada, yada. Next room. And stop playing ball with me, uh, Waddle D. Seriously. In this room, the wind is going upwards. So we have to avoid the Scarfies. And also the Gordos, it seems. Yes. Well, get out of the way, Noddy. You're not helpful. Seriously. Your sleep ability is not nearly as good as in the sleepy head power up in Dynamite Heady. Seriously. I don't know. Love a lot of the treasure games. Although I never really got into. Um... Oh, and before I go on, is a power up Ninja. So, yes, now we can do the. Um down slam move that we saw with Bio Spark earlier. Because I've never really done that really, but uh, there you go. Shame that laser isn't a thing in this game, even though uh, that floaty enemy clearly is using it! Seriously! Did um, Nintendo or How Labs think that um, it wasn't good enough for this game? I'm gonna say yeah. Unfortunately, the boss here is a much harder version of the Battle Windows uh, boss, which was probably one of the most unique bosses in the Great Cave Offensive. So we start off with the Witch, and uh, indeed, the Witch isn't too hard at all, really. Just like in the Great Cave Offensive, to be honest. However, we do have one new enemy here as well. So yeah, um, outside of this RPG battle. So yes, and fire spell. Yeah, that can be painful. Yeah, let's get our power back and... Nice one, Model D! So next up is the Evil Knight. What's he gonna do? Well, he... Um, only Kirby took a time out and found the attacks with the things. Kirby can actually guard against that, seriously. Why I'm not doing that. Or at least in Super Star Ultra. I know that. And Saw's coming down. Again, uh, I could indeed easily... Well, I am using Bomb here. The Bombs actually do protect against those projectiles. Seriously. Um, although, um, Parasol will also work against that move. So let's try... Um, oh, he's running away, is he? Well, um, I don't know if that will work. Because enemies don't usually run away unless they're like... Uh, thief sort of enemies, um, as you saw in the Final Fantasy, well, the Final Fantasy series as a whole, really, once they've stolen your stuff. But, um, yeah. Okay, so the Evil Swordsman is down. And now we get the Fire Dragon, or the Red Dragon. And just like in Final Fantasy VII, he can be a pain in the ass. Um, unlike in Final Fantasy VII, you cannot level up to fight him. And the Red Dragon is clearly the strongest of the lot. Seriously. Not only does he breathe fire, but um, the, my least favorite attack from him is his um, thing. You can easily dodge the fire breath, yeah. But um, wait until he uses his scratch move. Seriously. Something like scratch, yeah. Um, okay, you can avoid that mostly. It depends. And at this point, I just didn't want a helper here. Seriously. Apparently I was lucky that he was starting to retreat there. Unfortunately, that does mean a lot of things. His star move easily hurts you. And I do mean easily. And when he starts flapping his wings, look out. Seriously. I am trying to guard here, but not happening. Definitely not happening. And I think it was by sheer luck that I actually destroyed him there. 
So yeah, so we have apparently got some courage points. Yeah, well, I guess you would be either very brave or very stupid to go up against a fire dragon. Anyway, that being said, um, um, after that we will get the final star onto the uh, Fountain of Dreams. At, at least I think it's the Fountain of Dreams. It certainly reminds me of that. Seriously. The star rod is there. It's the freaking Fountain of Dreams. And so, I think we've got all the planets there. I don't know if we've got all the copy abilities, but yeah, I think we've got all the things from there. So we can indeed proceed to Nova. And indeed, we will actually see what happens to Marx's plan in the next episode. And for anyone who's played this game, or uh, indeed Return to Dreamland, you will find out um, what he truly wants to do. Anyway, I'll see you then. Goodbye!